YouTube. Okay, kind of a little busy today. Angie just left uh, her usual stuff for this time of day. Uh, whatever she does and, and that. So, and she doesn't like a vlog it. So, we'll just let you guys know. Whatever she does on her own, away from the camera, she doesn't like a vlog it. So, uh, we're not going to bother her with her, okay? Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, it's that time. I am desperately need something. Well, I don't really desperately need it because I got plenty of bags of it. It's Timmy time! Yes! Uh, I haven't had one for a while. Actually, I haven't had a Tim Hortons uh, since we actually went to Tim Hortons uh, in Maumee, Ohio. And that and Toledo area, uh, part of our trip. So, I guess... Uh, and for some reason, it's been too hot to drink coffee, and uh, the temperatures are cooling down enough. Now it's, uh, drinky, drinky, drinky. Well, first, I gotta brew it first. I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, I'm stocked up on coffee for the year. Angie's somewhat cough, uh, stocked up on her hot cocoa. She only got, what, a little bit in here. Full can still back there. And I think someone is sending us a can later. Because of the uh, the Lumber King deal, uh, we had to tell them they were on their way to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and uh, they were going to stop at Tim Hortons for us to get. They asked me if I was good on my coffee. I said, "Yeah, I got a coffee that's good for the. I'm good for the whole winter on my coffee." But Angie might can can use a, a hot chocolate. Uh, so if she's going to get a hot chocolate. It's a favor. We let them know that the Lumber Kings were in town. That's that was the trade in for that. Right now, I just got to prep up the area because, like I said in last night's vlog, I got to get myself a hair, well, I got to get myself a haircut first, but we got to clean these guys out today, uh, give them uh, fresh water and all that stuff, it's just the monthly maintenance we got to do, and we're not going to use that lid anymore because, I don't know if you heard me at the end, that lid made the goldfish turn black, so we took the lid off. The blackness is gone, and the one goldfish that I talked about, it's still in that log. So I gotta make sure that fish is out of there before I uh, clean it. Down here to our storage locker, gotta find my two keys. I can't get neither one of them. And I can't film and unlock the padlock at the same time, so trust me. <laughs> yeah, you got the key in my padlock, and bam, we are unlocked. And, yeah, what a mess. Well, actually, more organized than our apartment, but still a mess. That's what we need to store our fishies in temporarily. Yeah, I got to find out how to end that water thing. It never ends, never ends. So we'll lock this back up and we'll take it back upstairs. Okay. There. Well, you know, Angie's ready for fall. She has this hanging out the apartment door. So, Angie, I'm back. Oh, dang. She's still busy. Oh, well. Gotta do what I gotta do by myself, I guess. Okay, I just got out of the shower, let the hair dry somewhat. I gotta get my uh, coffee cup, uh, my travel mug. I, remember my travel mug? Yeah, had that thing filled with double double. And uh, oh man, I wonder if I can recreate a double double. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Is it uh, two milks and two sugars? Uh, something like that, but that's what it tastes like to me uh, when I had the double double in uh, uh, at the actual Tim Hortons. So I'll see if I can replicate it here at home. It's not easy to do, so uh, we'll see what happens. Right now, I'll just gotta, I can't film and measure stuff at the same time, so you're gonna have to trust me if I put it in right, okay? Sounds good? Sounds good to me. I don't know. I'm the one's gotta drink it too, so. Okay, my attempt at a homemade double-double, I put two teaspoons of uh, milk, uh, two teaspoons of sugar. This is all my Tim Hortons coffee I just brewed, and see what it looks like. I know one thing, it doesn't look the same, but let's see if it tastes the same. It looks a little pale to me, doesn't it? It looks pretty pale. Because I'm using 1% uh, milk too, so we'll see. Let's let's taste it. 
Let's taste it. You know what? I'd rather have the restaurant double double. I'll have to make another attempt at it. It's not easy to make a double double at home. I'll tell you that right now. I'd rather have it at the restaurant. But otherwise, it's good coffee. I'll take it. What is it? And you made it home. Hello, YouTube. And the fish. Oh, she found my fishing net, right? Yes. I couldn't find my fishing net, so you found the fishing net. That I hit it. You hit it hard, huh? You yeah. hit it big time, huh? Hey, you know what else is missing? What? You know what else is missing? Chuck got a haircut! Yeah, Chuck got a haircut! I finally buzzed it off. I, was, I had to cut it off uh, while I was gone. But, uh, yep, now I can get this tank, we can get this tank cleaned out. Yours is in two weeks. Yours is in two weeks for the haircut. Two, two weeks from Friday. And we gotta go down the river for because you said the river's climbing up high, right? Yes. Because of the recent heavy rains? Yep. So we gotta go down and check that out a little bit. Hopefully we've got time. Yes. Yes, let's do all this first. Uh, then why the water's going through the filtering process, we'll walk down there real quick, right? Yep. Okay, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Yep. Alright, with the uh, new fish pump that we got, uh, it, it had this instead of the, uh, the wire part, and I'll tell you what, this was easier to clean. I just barely rinse it over some uh, reasonable pressure water underneath the sink and it just come right off. I didn't have to scrub it or anything like that. It just just blew right off. I, I'm, I'm glad we got the new filter and because of the new filter uh, it it basically dumped out with no gunk in it build up. There was really no gunk build up. I just had to wipe off any uh, slime build up that was on it. And it was great. Right now, the fish is getting a little restless because they need their uh, they need the tank back. And right now, I'm scrubbing it out right now. Angie's always busy on her Kindle, right? Yes, or the computer. Or the computer, one, one or two. And after we get all that done and fill it all up, put the proper amount of chemicals in it, we'll let it run through for an hour. Why is that? Why that's going on? Oh, by the way, you like my haircut? <laughs> Cute. Angie thinks it's cute. And we're going to walk down to the riverfront. That's the only way I'm going to kill an hour. Uh, walk down to the riverfront and uh, see what's going on in the river because Angie thinks it's out of the banks. I think she's fibbing. You no. fibbing? I think she's fibbing. She no. says she's not. not. Okay, we just got done cleaning out the tank. We were running out really good. Oh man, look at that. Uh, <laughs> now I can't wait. You can't wait for yours. So if Angie moves a Mountain Dew bottle, we got it pretty well cleaned out. I can't keep the, the fish doesn't like to keep the bubbler underneath any rocks. That's why I don't put as many rocks in. So I keep the rocks all on one side. But the fish loves, it, but they, they love the log. Well, one of them loves the log. But yeah, we got it. We got the new filter in. We got this. This is really, really easy to clean out. I, I love this thing so far. It was easy to clean out, but the problem is we can't put the uh, protective cover over it because what was that protective cover was making the fish turn black. So we decided to take it off and take a chance on it. I'll just find something better at the, I think we're going to stop at a pet store one of these days. Uh, hopefully, maybe. Uh, like I said, we do have extra funds available for it. Uh, we'll just see what, the, what they offer. There's a chance we may have to buy a whole new fish tank, maybe. Maybe. If it's, that's the case, right? Yes. That's only if that's the case. <laughs> but we're good to go there. The fish is waiting to get back in, but they got to wait for an hour for the water to filter through. Are you going to walk down to the riverfront with me? No. No? You never want to walk down with me to the riverfront and back. I did last week. Okay. You're just going to stay home, huh? Yes. Okay, we'll let you stay home. I wish you'd come with me, but you were busy today, right? Yes. And you're tired. Yes. That explains why your pillow's there, right? It's been out here since this morning, I think. Oh, you were double tired. Ah, uh, down here at the riverfront, killing an hour. Uh, at least kill an hour before I can put the fish back in the tank. Maybe a little longer. Hey, uh, check out uh, the river behind me. Of course. When I'm on the river, it's always the river. Uh, look how high it is now. 
Uh, if you look at that pier right there, if you look at that pier right there, that was, river the other day was four feet lower than that. That's how high the river has gotten up last uh, three or four days due to high water. It's almost right up the ledge up here almost. Yeah, the river has come up big time in the last uh, 48, uh, last 72, 96 hours or so. Oh man, those heavy rains that we've been getting uh, a little earlier. Remember that the one video uh, where it downpoured by buckets? Uh, yeah, when it when it hit up river uh, more and more, it's all down here. So uh, this is why I couldn't get the American Queen. That's why the American Queen was canceled uh, because of this. Because this would have been the week it was going down river. And there was no way it was going to get underneath the uh, bridges up here because of the height of the boat itself. So October 6th is the final time up here. Hopefully the water drops that much by then, but we don't know for sure. I'll see what October 6th brings. Otherwise, we got to wait for American Queen till next year for the ones who are new to the channel and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're still having YouTube glitches in a way uh, on the side. While I was filming all day today, I had a couple more glitches that took place. I don't know if people are just totally unsubscribing because of this contest we're running or not. I don't know. I gave you chances. Um, the odds of winning a, a, a shirt from us is really great because now it's almost like one in three. Uh, one in three or one, uh, I guess, somebody removed a comment or two. I noticed a comment or two was removed. So now the odds, as of right now, uh, is technically uh, one, one in 2.5, somewhere in that neighborhood. So yeah, your odds are getting better. Uh, unless someone uh, puts those comments down there, all you have to do is just, uh, all you have to do is go to the original video I put up uh, the other day on the uh, t-shirt update. Uh, check it out. Uh, go to the original video. I put a link in that video. I'm not going to put a link in this video. We'll go to the original video uh, when I first announced it. Just go in, make a comment. Just put those three numbers that everybody else puts in and you'd be eligible for the t-shirt drawing. I like to see more entries in there so it makes it interesting. It makes the drawing a little bit more interesting for us. It's getting to a point I'm considering maybe not doing more, no more contests on this channel. I, I just don't know on that. We'll have to decide on a future date on that. But like I said, we'll have to think it out better next time we do one. Well, how was your walk? It was good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Told you the river was up. Yeah, the river was up. Right now what's up is uh, we got to get these fish uh, into that tank. Looks like all the parodies is basically out of there right now, looks like. Yep. So I think we're ready to rock and roll in it, right? Yes, we are. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, Angie's going fishing in, in the... These guys splash big time. Uh, just want you guys know, uh, just keep going, Angie. I'll explain. Just let you guys know, because it's fresh water, the fish likes to go into a certain corner, as always. Uh, they'll figure it out. The big one is going to be the splasher. No, nope, we got the little one. That's the one that likes to hide uh, in the log. Yeah, he's spinning down and around. Okay, he's good. He's good. He's just shocked. That's all. One left. And uh, there he goes. Get him out of the net. There you go. We're good. Are we good? We're good. We got them all. All right. Sounds good. Yep. I guess all the fish is doing okay right now. They're just going to get used to the new water for 24 hours. I just fed them, Angie, so they're going to get their food. No, it's the one doing somersaults. Yeah, that's what they like to do somersaults. They're happy with clean water. Okay. So uh, let's uh, be happy with our audience. Let's end the show somewhat. Somewhat sad in a way. Please like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.